all right everybody welcome to your 32nd google chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be learning about something called chrome.tabs api now it's been a while since i created a video for google chrome extensions because um, i was busy with my exams and some other stuff but now i'll try to create videos um, for this series because Google Chrome has been adding a lot of new APIs with every release and I have something called <coughs> experimental features also to discuss with you guys so in this video we'll be looking at something called chrome.tabs API now this is not a single API but there are many APIs under this API so in this tutorial I'll be just beginning with the chrome.tabs and as we move on we'll be learning about more apis of this now if you look at the documentation it kind of look half as up because there are a lot of apis and the discussion doesn't seem to be very pleasing so let's start with this basic example okay first of all what this chrome.api does and where is it available now this chrome.api um, sorry the chrome.tabs API this API is available in background page and in popup.js I don't think that it is available in content scripts because you don't actually need that to be available actually so this is available in background and popup.js script that script which appears here yeah and using this script you could actually get the information of the current tab or any other tab of the google chrome browser inside your javascript so and you can even create tabs and do other stuff which we'd be doing in this one so let's take a look how to implement this API first so first of all as the documentation says you need to have the permission tabs so in the manifest.json get the permissions tabs and all URLs this is not needed actually right now so this much would be sufficient make sure you are running with background script or make sure you are running with it pop-up script but I would be doing that in background script for now now I have background.js file here so what I can do is I could do like chrome dot tabs dot now after this we have all of these APIs right here all of these methods so for now what I'll be doing is I'll be getting started with the create one which is the simplest one I guess so chrome.tabs.create would actually create a new tab from your background.js script now remember I told you that background.js runs in a complete different environment it doesn't know about what's happening inside the current page of the user so you need to make a bridge between the current page and the background javascript which is served by the chrome.tabs api so let's make use of chrome.tabs.create and using this api what we can do is we can create new tabs within background.js script now this api is pretty simple to implement because it doesn't require a lot of things to do if we look at the documentation we see that for chrome.tabs.create we have two arguments as object create properties and function callback so obviously you know that callback function is the function which executes when this operation is successfully done so this would accept first of all an object and a callback function so let's create a function callback and let's supply some data here let's say data and I'll just console log the data for now and in the create I want to create a new tab with the URL google.com so let's check it out how it works let's reload the extension and as you can see as soon as I reloaded without my intervention this new tab opened with google.com 
and if I reload this again you can see that it opens automatically <coughs> so this chrome.tabs.create API can be useful when you launch your extension on the uh, web store and you want to display a thank you message for the users who install your extension so you can do like if uh, if first run then do like this and you could actually customize your first run variable by storing it in chrome.storage or whatever I leave that up to you so chrome.tabs.create and inside the data object you see that we got all the details of that object and using this we could actually grab details like console log, log data dot url and when i will reload this and check this out you see i got http google.com as it so that's it for this tutorial and the next one we'll be learning more about chrome.tabs.create and some other APIs as well. So don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.